Whenever you are around level 20 to 25, you've probably unlocked the Amrine Dungeon. If you have not already, continue with the main quest line until you do. The Amrine is very fun and very rewarding as well. Around that level, this is the place to get better gear and good rewards. You will get rewards for killing mobs, bosses and the chests in the Amrine. Most of the chests are easy to see and don't require a mechanic to open. So before I'll show you all the chests and how to get them, if you are a veteran player and have done it loads of times, this video is probably not for you. But if you are still a bit new with the Amrine dungeon, stay until the end. Also, if you have found it helpful, leave a like and if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing for more tips and tricks. Let's start with the first chest. After you finish the first encounter with mobs on the bridge, continue on the path. You will now get into the excavation area. You will need to fight 3 mobs before you can go down. After that, look to the right and you will see an excavation nest. Defeat that and you will see the chest behind the tent. Let's go to the second chest. After you have cleared the whole area, open the door and continue through it. You can go ahead or to the left. Go left and clear the mobs. After that, jump off this edge into the water. At the second waterfall on the left, at the very bottom there is a hidden chest. Make sure to grab that. There could also be some random materials you can farm there if you would like. Continue your way through the dungeon until you get to the broken vestibule. This is the area with a round ball in the middle. Slay all the mobs and let one of your party activate the ball. A bunch of enemies will spawn again, kill them all and head towards the door. If you are facing the door, go to the right and behind that pillar will be another chest. This one cannot be opened before doing all of the previous activities. Keep on going until you are at the altar room. This is where the purple ghost called Nakashima spawns. Destroy him and on the left there will be a chest. Before you continue, go all the way to the left side, there are two more little mobs and another chest. Continue towards the end of the dungeon where you will fight the dungeon boss. A quick little tip, have enough healers and just put some tanks right in his face with some extra heals. This will probably do the trick. After you have defeated him, on the left side is your final chest. My name is Exceptional, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want more new world videos. 